Hey there everyone and welcome back to the Flexbox training. Now in this video we are going to talk about uh, the opposite of what we talked in the previous movie. In the previous video we talked about the justify content which works alongside with the main access. Now it happened to be that the main access works in a horizontal manner in the web. If it, our main access would have been working from top to bottom then uh, the justify content works from top to bottom okay so this is really tricky situation in the flexbox but that's how it was designed okay now so in this video we are going to talk about the align item which works on the perpendicular of the main axis also known as uh, other axis or whatever you call that you get the idea and uh, one unformal announcement here uh, that a lot of people asked me about uh, this wallpaper uh, they wanted it this is a customized wallpaper so <laughs> i can just give it to you uh, you can just download it from hiteshaudry.com slash flexbox. I did upload it there. Uh, I know some of you might be thinking, hey, wh what is that? What was that? Yes, yeah, some of people just uh, asked too much time. So, hey, what's there in, the, in, the, in this wallpaper? I can surely give it to you. No problem at all. Okay. And we are going to be working in 03. I have copied and pasted from our start folder. And in the start folder... Uh, this is 03 and this is how it looks like. So we are going to again start from uh, the bare minimum basics there. So again, uh, let's have a div and that is going to have one. So command shift D that is going to be two and this is going to be three. This is going to be four, five and maybe one more, six, maybe one more. Okay, seven. That's it. That's it. I promise. Okay, so this is how our properties looks like. We have been aware of it. And we have been also aware that if I just select my container there and just give it a display of flex, everything just aligns here. And we have also studied about the justify content. So justify content like center just works like that. Okay, so it just works from left to right. What about if we want some more control over top to bottom? In that case, the align item comes into the role. Now, as soon as I'll just use the align item, nothing will happen. And that's a classic mistake. Everybody does that. That's why I am also going to do it first. So as soon as I say align item and I just do a center here and you might be expecting that it should get center of the page. I know a lot of you expected that, but this is not happening. So can you guess what is the reason here? Now, this is a classic mistake of not determining your container height and width. Okay. In order to explain that a little bit more, I would like to add a property of border here. And border is going to be, let's just say, one pixel, solid, and black. Okay. Now, what is hap happening? You expected that it will just jump down to the center of the page, but your page is not having that height. You only have to, uh, you only have this much of the space to work on with. And this is a very classic mistake. Every beginner makes it, and there is no issue with that. It's okay. Everybody learns with the mistake. So how you can expect this align item to work? In order to have an align item, we have to have some kind of space from top to bottom as well. In this case, uh, let me just give it a height of, uh, you can also get a height of 100 viewport height, uh, but that is going to be too much for this example. And now it jumps to the center, but I'm gonna get a little bit, which is uh, good for our educational videos purposes. And I'm gonna get 500 pixel so that I can see everything here. Also, I'm going to leave this border on so that you can see what is happening. And in fact, I will make it a little bit darker for three pixels so that you can see nicely and clearly hear what is happening. Okay, now let's talk about the align items and what offer what it offers to us. And the first and the foremost property is the flex start. And as soon as I do that, it's going to just uh, mix it up and it's going to just flex start to uh, the top here. Now, don't get confused with the justify because we are applying two properties here. OK, the justify content center brings it to the center. Otherwise, uh, this guy is just pushing to its top. OK, and there is also which is flex end. And if I save that, it just brings everything at the bottom here. OK. Again, you should be aware of what is your container height to play on with because we are talking about top to bottom. And we have already seen the center here. So there we go. And you might be asking what are other properties being offered by it. Now, luckily for us, it also offered five properties and most of the Flexbox item uh, 
it uses the five property uh, five value kind of thing so flex start flex and center what else we do have a stretch property as well which is quite useful in some cases uh, stretch here and it just stretched the element uh, from top to bottom just like what you expected sometimes it's really really helpful uh, based on what you want to achieve with your uh, target and again uh, sometimes it's helpful and there is one more and in order to dis and display and explain that I have to actually get something inside this so here I would like to have an h1 tag and that h1 will have 7 and now what is going to happen this 7 is going to be a big guy and rest of the guys are going to be a little bit smaller so uh, let's go to the flex box and uh, that property is known as baseline and as soon as I hit the baseline what is going to happen now you'll notice here that the baseline of this seven six five all of them are just lined up regardless of it is too much tall and takes too much space from the top or bottom wherever it does uh, you can expand that to a little bit more but it's going to always keep into the baseline height and again um, a classic mistake let me also tell you that that i'm going to say uh, uh, people expect this but uh, there is a little bit trick here let me show you that and for that i'm going to select the h1 and i'm going to give it a font size of let's just say 30 pixel which is really insane but let me show you here uh, come on did i save that or let's just give it a 50 pixel which is going to be really really big okay now this is this looks like a really big is it getting selected or not let me just try to give it a color and we're gonna get a color of black okay yep it is getting selected now although it's not getting much bigger here uh, but what you will notice that now uh, still this is going to line up and this is one of the beauty about the flexbox that once you are using the flexbox uh, everything just stays there and no matter what the size is what the other properties you are defining and uh, are you putting extra CSS over on top of that so that's that's the power of the C, uh, this flexbox and I always recommend to just align everything using the flexbox okay because what flexbox gives you is the power of aligning elements so uh, just keep everything inside the divisions and then just align all of your division on the page however you want to have and then start adding element inside it like h1 tags and images and all of that because flexbox will just keep it there keep it there and that's super important okay so uh, this was pretty interesting video and uh, now you have uh, the idea about the two properties uh, the justify content and align items again these are both container level properties we haven't yet applied any rule uh, to the inside or the child elements we are going to cover them up but first let's cover up all the container level properties